James Brander Matthews was an American writer and the first full-time professor of dramatic literature at an American university. Born in 1852 in New Orleans, the son of Edward Matthews, broker of cotton, real estate and railroads, and Virginia Brander. He was educated at Columbia College and Columbia Law School. In 1873, he married Ada S. Smith, the pair having one daughter. That same year, his family's wealth was wiped out in the financial panic of 1873, so he turned to writing. From 1892 to 1900, he was a professor of literature at Columbia. He was friends with Theodore Roosevelt, to whom he dedicated his vignettes of Manhattan. He died in New York in 1929. His first book was the 1880, The Theatres of Paris. Most of his works were non-fiction. Critical works such as the historical novel and other essays, book bindings old and new, and aspects of fiction. His earliest fiction seems to be his 1886, A Secret of the Sea. In 1896, he published today's subject, Tales of Fantasy and Fact. A primer of imaginary geography is a very satirical story of a dream the narrator had of waking up aboard the Flying Dutchman, being told about many fantastical countries such as Lyonnais, No Man's Land, Bohemia, which is really a desert country by the sea, and the famed nation of Altruria, which no one really flocks to despite statements to the contrary. The kinetoscope of time has an unnamed narrator being compelled at night to wander to an unknown location where glowing signs bid him to look through a series of magic kinetoscopes, wherein he sees famous historical and fictional battles and dances, before refusing to sell his own life to the mysterious proprietor to see his own future death. The dream gown of the Japanese ambassador is similar and has a man put on a kimono and watch a glass sphere he got from Japan before falling asleep and dreaming himself on the scene of many important historical and literary events such as being one of the 47 Ronin, or a victim of Irving's Headless Horseman. The first three stories, despite their similarities, are the best, though they don't really have a narrative and just borrow scenes from others. The last three are much less interesting. The rival ghost has a half-Scottish baron and owner of a haunted house in Salem, arranged for his Scottish guardian ghost and the ghost haunting his Salem property to get married to avoid arguing all the time, so that his own fiancée would marry him as she refused to go for a honeymoon anywhere else but at the haunted house, but also refuses for it to be haunted. Sixteen years without a birthday is a rather boring affair, a made-up yarn about how the narrator's grandmother didn't have a birthday until sixteen, due to a combination of being born on a leap year and travelling to and from Russia and the Pacific. The twinkling of an eye is also boring. A steelworks partner's son exposes the person who has been getting at their sensitive company documents to underbid the company by planting a camera in a clock. The postscript reveals this was an exercise by Matthews in fantasy despite usually being a realist writer. And the amateurism shows since the best stories are those without a plot, taking scenes from other sources.